Hey guys, so it's about 9.15, I've got a little over 30 minutes before my bus comes. Yes, I am in Patterson, and right about this time, the bus that I would take if it was scheduled a little later, like at 10.30, is already showing up in, pa in Newman. And she's probably looking at the fact that, oh my gosh, what is going on here with the road construction? Because... You know, I, I understand you want to probably put in a, a, a bench and everything. Maybe an overhead bench, you know, just in case of rain. And I understand you want to put in the sign. That's right, the sign. I'll show you what I mean. You know, I understand all that. But don't you think it would have been beneficial for, you know, the, the city, the county, maybe even the people associated with it, like, you know, Stan RTA, to let everybody know in some shape or form or fashion that this was that road construction was going to happen. I mean, again, I understand. I understand putting. Let me see if you could see that very well. I can understand putting this sign right here. I don't know if you can see that. This sign. You know, up in place of the one that was there, they start one. I can understand them doing that. I can accept them, you know, doing that. I can. But here's the thing if you're going to tear up or at least temporarily disable, let's say, the side of the road here to wash it down, clean it up, whatever. You know, shouldn't you, <coughs> shouldn't you, <coughs> excuse me, shouldn't you let the people that depend on the buses and everything to, oh, I don't know, be informed by it? Because if I'm them, I would. I'd want them to know. I, if I'm Stan RTA, I'd want people to know. If I'm the city of Newman, I'd want people to know. If I'm Stanislaus County, I'd want people to know. But did that happen? No. None of that happened. Instead, I wake up this morning, go get myself ready, go to my bus stop, and they're working on that area. That's probably delaying the buses or, you know, making them try to find other routes. I mean, again, I understand putting a sign like that up, you know, in place of the old one. I get it. I get the fact that you want to put, like, I, I don't know, what, what are these, uh, benches, you know, with overheads? I get that. You know, I get you want to do that too, but you got to let people know ahead of time of what you're doing. You got to let the drivers of the buses that look at a stop like that as one of the regular stops, you got to let them be known about it, you know, before anything, you know, before they go on the route so they can figure out, okay, how do I adjust this? But you know what's even crazier though? You know, it's one thing for construction like that to take place, right? It's one thing for construction like that to take place, cause the bus drivers to have to stop maybe a few blocks down in an unofficial bus stop area, which they probably don't have a problem doing since, you know, they have to stop anyway, and the only alternative they have is the bus stop. Is, well, not a bus stop, but it's basically a clear area that's like a block away like, like this. Like the bus stop is over there, and everything, this would be the area they would stop in, right? Where that Bertolotti, Bertolotti uh, can is. You know, they would stop right there. And it's like, okay, that, you know, that's one thing. You know, that's understandable since, you know, you don't have no other place to, uh, to stop at. It's understandable. But, but again, it's, it's like you need to let people be informed about what you're going to do. You gotta inform them, you gotta let them know. Because if not, well, it's gonna be on you. What's this? Oh, it's a book. Deadly Decisions. But like I said, you know, there's somebody left a book there called Deadly Decisions. <laughs> But anyway, you know, it's going to be on you. Who, if you don't take the right steps to inform the 
you know, pass potential passengers, no matter where they, no matter whether they take the bus or they don't, as well as inform the bus drivers that drive the routes and drive the or the yeah drive the routes, drive the buses on those routes that you know probably have passengers waiting for them. You need to let them know in advance that hey, this could be happening. You know, just to let you know, so you might want to uh, be careful, or you, or, or you might want to, or I don't know, find a different alternative when it comes to stopping to pick up your passengers or whatever. Or maybe, or maybe if you're staying RTA or a bus affiliate of any kind, and you know this is happening, maybe you inform people through the letter that hey, this stop's going to be closed for a day, so you're going to have to go to the next stop up to wait for the bus, which to me would have made more sense. But what's even more crazier than that is I can understand the established drivers, the drivers that pretty much, you know, understand, you know, what they need to do, have been there, done that, if you catch my trip. But I'm certain, I am certain if you will, that, you know, if you have a new driver who is just learning the route and basically gets herself lost for almost an hour trying to find the area, you know, that's not a good thing because the construction can throw her off or her or him off, it could throw them off, and it could cause a lot of trouble. Now, thankfully, even though she got lost, she was able to get back on track, which I'm sure she contacted the home office and asked them, hey, you know, what's the route I need to take to get back on track? You know, I'm sure she did that. I'm sure she did that, which is why she was able to get back on track. But the point I'm getting at, folks, the point I'm getting at it's, you know, whether or not the newer drivers get back on track so they can, you know, basically make sure they don't get lost ever again, you know, even though I'll give them credit for doing that, they shouldn't have to be put on the road until somebody fully trains them and shows them the route that they need to go on, you know, and, what, and stay with them, stick with them until they get those routes down. But, again, that's one thing. The other thing is, it's un the other thing that's understandable, but, you know, just is downright ridiculous, is, you know, them getting lost and them getting confused at the fact of, okay, if this is a bus stop, what's the bus stop? Why is it being, and why is this being, this road being worked on? And I'll admit it wasn't the only road being worked on in Newman that was on, a, on that was part of the bus route. All the other roads, there were several other roads being worked on too in some capacity. And again, that falls on the city, on the county, and maybe even the bus affiliates for not, you know, working, for not communicating on the situation that this kind of stuff was happening. All they had to do was communicate that, hey, I mean, this is what should have happened. The city, if not the county, should have contacted Stan RTA slash transdev and said hey on this day in Newman these streets that are part of the 45 west route are going to be under construction so you might want to let your drivers know that they might need to go alternative routes or take alternative streets needs to do the route and to me had they done that I think even the newest drivers that might get lost would have had an easier time doing the route it's, you know, it's just ridiculous, you know, whether or not you are an established driver and you know the route, but then you don't, but then you see what's going on with the construction, and you're like, oh great, now what do I do? I mean, of course, you probably call it in just in case, you know, your company doesn't know. You know, that's one thing because that way you kind of have an idea of, okay, this is what I need to do to get around this. I know what to do, or basically. You look at that and you're like, okay, I know what to do to get around this, and you do it. 
You know, that's one thing. That's one thing. But it's another to send somebody out that's learning the route. You know, they're learning the route for the first time. End up getting themselves lost almost for an hour. And then when they finally get back on track, you know, seeing the construction going on probably throws them off, off as well. And that, and that shouldn't be. It's just communication is the is the word of the day, folks. When it comes to all this, it really is. Because even the more established drivers, like I said, are going to look at what's going on, and they're going to be like, "This is ridiculous. You know, we shouldn't be. This shouldn't be going on. It's delaying us." You know, end of discussion. Period. Period. But, what are you going to do? What are you going to do, right? What are you going to do? Anyway, though, I've got to let my job know in a little bit that I'm probably going to be 26 minutes late. Not a half hour, but 26 minutes. Hopefully not that much. You know, in case, just in case. Because, again, this is just... This is just one of those situations that you don't count on. I mean, the road construction can delay you. There's no doubt. It could throw you off, even if you're an established driver. But if you're a new driver and you don't know the route, and you see that, that's going to throw you off even more. So hopefully that kind of, this kind of stuff doesn't happen anymore. And hopefully whatever construction they're doing there, is possibly this, this sign here, and these benches over here getting installed over at that stop. But I'll find out tomorrow because I got to take the bus again tomorrow to get to work at 9. I'll be at work at 9. But let me know what your thoughts are, guys. Comment below. I know this may sound like I'm rambling and everything, but trust me. The point I'm getting at is communication is key when it comes to these kind of situations. So let me know what your thoughts are down below. Comment if you like. Love to hear from each and every one of you. And I'm out.